Do that again. Hey guys. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the Mexico travel vlog. We are currently here at Pearson. It is 4.30 a.m. Yes. Yes. We are at our gate. Very excited. Where are we going, Phil? Beach. And food. So we're off in about a couple hours. What are you most pumped for? Me? Mm hmm Beach. Guac. Sure. Chips. Sure. Mojito. Okay. We have touched down at our resort. Our room is not yet ready, so Phil and I are hitting up the all-you-can-eat buffet for some lunch. He grabs some tacos, and I'm just gonna take a look around and see what I'm feeling. I could go for some tacos as well, to be honest. When our room was finally ready, we went upstairs to take a look, and it was gorgeous. We had a little bit of a rest, and then went down to one of the restaurants to have some dinner. This plate is like so much bigger than my It looks great. It looks like a steak you would like make at home. Oh my god. It's like, like really good salt. quality. Bon appetit. Good morning y'all. Today is day two. Phil and I decided we were going to start off the day with a workout, but first we're going to our calf slash buffet type of situation to see if we can get coffee and a little snack for Phil. You heard it here, folks. We finished our workout. Now we're going to our room. Then we're gonna have some breakfast. Then we're gonna go to the beach. And that's our day. Thanks, Phil. Thank you. Bye. Catch you when we are eating our real breakfast. I mean, I'm not gonna eat all of this. Where'd you go to them? I just want a little bit of everything. But I'm excited. Mm. I got some of those potatoes. Okay. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Tasty? Oh, yeah. That the potatoes looks... are good. But this just looks fire. Sick. Oh, yeah. What is this? Yes. Oh! Wait, what? Come on, come on, give it a try. Actually, 
So after we ate dinner, we ended up going to play pool at a sports bar at the resort. Once we were done, we went to the room and Phil ordered nachos for room service, which ended up taking an hour to come. And by the time the guy finally did come, I was in my pajamas and in bed. He wanted to get out of here. <laughs> he he <laughs> saw me in my nightdress and was like, hey, I need to leave. <laughs> Oh, boy, when? Oh, you want No, I don't. You gonna eat them in bed? Yes, I will. Don't mind me. I'm gonna eat my nachos in bed. <laughs> mm -mm, I'm eating on a school tray. <laughs> <laughs> they smell good. They are juicy. <laughs> they have cheese and guacamole. Where's that beer? <laughs> Give me a soul. <laughs> Good morning, world. It is day four in Mexico. Please clean our room. Please clean our room. We oh, forgot to put the room <laughs> clean sign on yesterday. So we had to it's pretty gnarly towels. But now we're making our way to breakfast. Bill's birthday breakfast. Woo! Maybe they'll make you wear a hat. Because <laughs> of champs this morning, soy milk, cappuccino, grapefruit, mimosa, and Phil got omelet. I got a crepe on top of a pancake. Omelet, crepe, pancakes, and sweet potatoes with chorizo. Birthday breakfast. Mmm. <laughs> Looking cute. You're looking cute. What? You're looking cute. Okay. How does it feel, 24? Open. 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 Norman Powell, you're <laughs> more accurate. <laughs> Represent. How does it feel to be in Mexico? With me. With you? Yes. So after hanging out on the beach for a while, we headed back to our room where there was a little surprise waiting for us. Breeze! Go surprise! <laughs> because it was Phil's birthday, the staff decided to decorate our hotel room with some fun curtains, balloons, and a little cake made out of towels. <laughs> so that night we went for a dinner at an Italian restaurant on the resort. I got the staff to write happy birthday Phil on a cake which was really cute and Phil was really surprised. Later on, we went to a karaoke night at our resort where we met a lot of our friends that we ended up going to play Del Carmen with the next day. That works for you, right? Yeah. It brings up my medallions. Okay, guys, I really need to explain why Phil says his eyes look like medallions in this clip. You see, the night before, we went to a karaoke night at a resort. It was super fun. We made a lot of our friends there. Everyone was drinking and having a good time, except this one guy from Hamilton who was super blackout wasted and just hitting on all the girls there. So he's so drunk to a point that he literally rips off his shirt like a wild animal, starts dancing on the floor, and he has this crazy, insane buff body. So we dubbed him Buff Man. And every time we saw him on the trip, we would call him Buff Man to the point where he started getting really annoyed at us. Anyways, we we're all at karaoke having a good time. I'm sitting down with Phil. Buff Man approaches me and tells me my eyes look like medallions. After he notices that Phil is sitting right beside me, he pieces together that Phil's my boyfriend and tells Phil that my eyes look like medallions. As if he hadn't just hit on this guy's girlfriend two seconds before. So medallions just became a running joke throughout our entire trip, as did Buffman. Here is some bonus footage of him breaking it down on the dance floor. 
back to the video. What's the verdict? Yeah, love it? Sick, I'm so excited. And after dinner, we decided to check out the casino before calling it a night. Super dark. And we're just spending some time on the beach, reading, also reading Money Diaries. And we're probably gonna go for dinner later at the Italian restaurant, maybe. And otherwise, just pack up our things and uh, get to bed early because we fly out tomorrow at 7 o'clock. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching that's all i have for the vlog if you could give it a big thumbs up i would definitely appreciate it and subscribe for more videos